Hey, my people, my name is Mimi Joy. How are you all doing? Happy weekend, happy Easter. I hope you guys are preparing for your Easter. Yes, Jesus Christ died today. Wow. So, today I want to talk about what is moving everywhere in social media. What is looking, moving everywhere in social media about our actor, Peter Deshe, what he has been saying in social media. This man is, I, I can't believe that all these things that he's saying is actually coming from him as an elderly man. As an elderly man that he can sit down and think of even saying this, or be in the midst of people that is saying this kind of thing. Talk more of him even saying it. I am so disappointed at him because he all his films when he when he was acting more a movie every time. I love his film. There are so many people that look up to him as a good father. And we, I don't know he's the kind of person. And he has been a very good name for himself. I don't know why he chose to spoil his name in this old age. The time that he'll be resting. I don't know if his children is not advising him in what is vomiting from his mouth. These are something that a child will say. And they will caution the child. An elderly man like him. In this age. Now he's saying it. And he said um, that we are borrowing white men were a life. The film that he's pro is, is, is acting, is it not white men life? This film that he was, is, that gave him that money that he's using, is it, that made him popular, is it not white men? Is it in our culture to act film? Is it in our culture to produce film? He said that a woman, a woman, a, a woman to put condom in his uh, a, um, husband's back where you find out that your husband is cheating. Really? Really? In this age? Do you know how many women who have done that? That means he's encouraging an elderly man like that. He's encouraging men to go out there and cheat to, his, to their wife and bring HIV and gloria and kind of sickness to their wives. And he sit down and he's advertising it as if it's good. It is very, very honest. It is very, very welcome for a married man to go out there and shit on his wife. I can't believe this is coming from him. I can't believe that this is actually coming from an elderly man like him. If he's one of his sons that say it, I'll say, uh -huh. And this man is busy spoiling his family's name. Because I heard that one of his sons wants to come out for presidential. Is it? Oh, his son has not even come out for presidential and he's making women look as if we are rubbish. And he wants us to vote for his son. He thinks that we are going to vote for his son so he can sweep us as women on the, under the carpet. That if his son become a president tomorrow, we are going to be nothing. That maybe they will gather all the women inside the, inside the a one hall and burn us to ashes. With that woman, will he be able to stand and speak? He said that his wife, his mother, married the age of 15 years. That he, he's proud to say that his mother married the age of 15 years. Is it not called child abuse? Maybe in our old, in the olden days, it's not child abuse. But now, is he supposed to bring it up? Is it good for a child that is not even up to 18 years to get married? He went ahead and said that his mother could not be able to look at his father's face. How can you tell me that a teenager, a teenager of 15 years can look at a, a, a man of 40 years, his face? Can he even stand? He's not even twice his age. He's tr almost triple his age. If they add five years to that, to the 40 years, it should be times two of the woman's age. So what do you expect? Do you expect the woman to look at the old man's age, face? I don't expect that this is coming from him. The next thing that he said was a uh, woman who used to be the beautiful things. Who is thin, Peter Deche? Who is a thin? If you have a girl, if you have a girl, if you really you have a girl as a daughter, maybe there are things to you. Maybe your wife is thin. Maybe your mother is thin. But me, Mimi Joy, I am not a thin. And I don't believe my daughters are thin. My sisters are not thin. 
Do you understand? How can you look at that? Do you know what is meaning? What is meaning of thing? Even though, you, even the, even these days now, pets, all these pets, all these dog, cats, and things, all these pets, they don't use things as to to qualify them. They use she, he, they look us, a pretty human being like you. A, a woman that gives back to you. You say women used to be the beautiful things that we, we play with. Beautiful things that you love. Beautiful things. I thought you are more than you are educated. I thought you are enlightened. But the way you speak, the way you relate yourself, honestly speaking, that, that retakes me. Retakes me to, know, to, 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 to believe that a man in your caliber, in your age, can even... Stand so low, reduce yourself so low, belate yourself, humiliate yourself to that extent for you to look at human being like you and call them a thing. And let me ask you, what is different between men and women? Because according to the Bible, Bible said that we are all equal in the eyes of God. So why are you why do you think that we are second class citizens? Why do you think that we are we are we are supposed to take breaks from you? Before we can be able to preach. I don't understand. Then you went ahead and said that any man that will go into his nest to propose to his wife, his girlfriend, or his fiancé, that that man is a foolish man. Let's, let me tell you, Peter Desha. I used to accord a respect to you. But for these things you say, I look at you and one of the people, one of those touts in the streets that is begging for money. Those conductors that is looking for on the show the road. That's the conductors that are looking for Agege, eh, Maza Maza Ikeja. Doctor, those conductors that is looking for, eh, um, Sele, Sele Gecha, Sele Gecha. Those conductors that is looking for Marabe Nyanya, Marabe Nyanya, Sulu Dechuleja. That is who I look at you like. I just look at you as somebody that is worthless to me. You understand that respect I have for you, that respect I call whenever I see your video, whenever I see your picture, whenever you, you put on, you put, you, I saw something about you online, I respect you as a father, as a father. But today, I disagree to see you as a father. You are not worthy to be a mentor. You are not even worthy to be a father. You are not even worthy to be anything. In fact, you are the one that is a team, Peter Deshe. You are a team. Because me and my household, my sisters, my brother, my, my children, my girls' children, they are not things and they will never be things. How do you even sleep at night? How do you sleep at night? How did you have you ever asked your have, ask your sister, ask your conscience, how will your granddaughter see you? Yeah, my grandfather used to call us a thing. That means there is no need of going to meet them. Oh bullshit. I can't believe it. What makes me more angry? What makes me more angry is that you say a man that will go to his knees to propose that he does not work for you, that he did not do it, or excuse me, or your brother or your 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 you did not do it or your children did not do it. Does not mean that any man that will do it is a fool. Does not mean that any any man that goes to his knees that love his wife or his girlfriend or his fiance to go to his knees to propose to his girlfriend is a fool. It also it, 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 it means that the man loves his wife. He loves his girlfriend. There are some men that when they offend their wife, they will go on their knees and say, I'm sorry, love, I'm sorry. And it settles it so quickly. But your ego, I, I don't even know this why you're saying that you have not beat your wife before. Your father did not beat your wife. How are we supposed to know? We are not living with you. A man like you, honestly speaking, beats their wife. I put it to you, Peter Desha, that you beat your wife every minute. Yes. For you to sound like a, a, a rice cow on the streets. For you to sound like somebody who is senseless. Somebody who is stupid. Meaning that, honestly speaking, you are a woman bitter. Let me tell you. Your father did not raise you well. I am sorry that in Nigeria, some Nigerian people look up to you as a mentor. You are not a mentor. And you went ahead and said that women, that's, it's women that not, you did not put some. You did not even put some. 
You said that women are the reason why their husband beats them. Look at you. Look at you. That women are the reason why. So you want to tell me that the man that goes out, maybe get himself drunk and come back and his wife complain to him and he beats his wife. That his wife is not supposed to say, ah, love, why did you go outside and drink? It's not good now. Hmm? Or uh, a woman who caught his wife, his husband cheating on him, or her, he's not supposed to complain. Because if you do, if you do, if a woman do that, ah, uh, how can it seem like that complain? You're supposed to even when is the husband, the wife see the husband cheating on her, you're supposed to give the woman, uh, the guy, the man, the husband condom, so that the husband will continue cheating on her. That is what they're trying to tell us. What is Peter trying to tell us? What, is, what are you even trying to say? What are you trying to say? That women beat, they, they are women, they, 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 they cause why their husband beats them. Really? Really? I don't know what to say to you. People are around you to advise you. A man like you, a man in your age, should be looking a way how to mend his ways, his wrongdoing, how to look up to God, how to make how to make peace with your life and your people around you, and you are there making enemies everywhere, making enemies to yourself, making enemies to your own self. Because what I see that you are making enemies to your own self. That is what I see. You are making your your you are you are you are destroying your career, you are destroying your family. You're destroying that image that your family have. That is what I'm saying. And what makes me think, if you're really that learned that people say you are, if you're really that enlightened, people say you are, oh my God, that when you, your wife, when your child or your daughter wants to get married, if you have a gift like a car, you should put the car in your son's in-law's name. Ha <laughs> ha Oh you think like a child. Honestly speaking, you think like a kid. You think like a two years. I don't know if people I uh, 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 see that is the old age that is disturbing you. Can I see that is the old age that is affecting your thinking faculty? Or will I say that you, from the beginning of your life you have never sucked your mother's breast? No, because it don't sound like somebody who has sucked the mother's breast. Okay, you get married to the, you, you, your daughter got married to the husband. And you, Peter Deshe, claims, which I know you have never bought a car for your daughter before. You have not bought a, she, your, anybody car. Because the way you talk, you talk like a vagabond. So if you have ever bought a car for anybody, you should be on social media and everywhere. So I ask you. If you buy a car for your son-in-law and tomorrow your son-in-law and your daughter the, no ma the, the marriage break on the road they got divorced and your daughter leaves the marriage without the car and another woman come in and start driving the car how will you live to you with yourself? Will you go and hug transformer? And is this still the best thing to do? Oh God how we shall have the number of people around you so they can take you to psycho. You need you need a, you need to shake your mental disorder to, to shake your mental mental thinking faculty because it's shifting. I don't know, maybe it's the age. That is what I think. Maybe the age is actually what is affecting you. Or you have always been like that. But I just pray that your children, your sons, will be able to put you in order before all this rubbish that you're saying go out of hand and please as a, as a matured man please can you keep quiet can you like the young youth to you to say say yeah you're an african man you're an african man you are african man and you have not gone to get biafra since what are you waiting for go as a front front now go and bring biafra to our people you are there you have not gone you're an african man 
prove as proof the African man to us. Prove to the to, to the Igbo land that you're African man. Please. People should just all the women, please. Let us not get discouraged because of that man. Just subscribe to my channel, like and unbell in case I post anything. Have a lovely week. Happy Easter and remain blessed. I thank you. Bye.